Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. Well, it's not that good. It's a little disgusting <laughs> out. It's and been cold. rainy and cold for the last three days. Ugh. That's not going to stop us. We're hitting the road, you guys. We uh, actually drove over to a town called Eureka... <laughs> Redo. We actually drove over to a town called Eureka Springs, which is just in the northern part of the state of Arkansas. It is super charming. Allison picked it out. Yeah, we're staying in a very cool Airbnb in a little bit. One that we've never stayed in before, or a type that we've never stayed in before. We're so actually taking a road trip down to Texas. We were like, on our way there, we're stopping at this yeah. Airbnb. But then I was looking at the city itself, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is the cutest. It's essentially like a little mountain town in northern Arkansas. Although, I don't know if there are technically mountains here, but it's there really, hills. yeah, there are lots of hills, lots of winding roads. It's very old and historic, and I think fall is the perfect time to come because the leaves are all changing and it's so quaint and adorable. Sadly, we cannot check into our Airbnb until a little bit later. So I guess it's not that sad because we're going to go stop and get coffee and there are coffee Yay! shops all over the place around here. The best part of it getting cool outside is that I can finally drink hot drinks again. No more iced coffee for me. <laughs> well, I'll probably still drink iced coffee. But yeah, but hot coffee, here we go. You guys, this is how you pay for parking, and I've never seen something like this before. I don't quite understand it. Are you supposed to stuff money in these holes? Apparently, you stuff money in the hole, respective to the parking spot you're in, and that's how you, I don't understand it. I don't understand how they verify it, but all right. It looks like a big tomato. <laughs> I just got this new fleece jacket because I knew we were going to be in cold climates. Maybe it's too big, but that's okay. It's really cozy. Brand new overalls. I know. You guys, I'm an overall gal now. <laughs> I haven't been on the road in a while, so I got some uh, new goodies to take with me. Don't tell me if you hate it all, though. I can't take it. They have these delicious little breakfast bowls, and I got one with sweet potatoes, and I got freaking lobster asiago on there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I feel so fancy for breakfast. This is some legit lobster and we didn't have to do any work for it, unlike the lobster we had recently on our food tour. <laughs> it just feels so weird. Okay, that seems like, oh, I dropped it in the sauce, whoopsie. We're going back out into this uh, nasty, nasty weather, you guys. Ugh. It's 100% chance of rain all day. All the streets just have these floods going through it. So it's not even that walkable right now. But we are going to explore the city just a little bit because we still have a little bit of time to kill. Yeah. So we're at least gonna mosey around a bit and then head to our secret special Airbnb. Ooh. <laughs> Which you guys probably already know what it is because yeah, you saw the you thumbnail. Saw the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we are almost to our destination. Your destination is on the right. Just kidding, apparently we're here. <laughs> Livingston Junction Cabooses. Cabooses? That, that way? Up here. He said up the This steep way to the caboose. Road. Here we are, good old caboose 103. 103, right there. Do you need a shot of it? Yeah, I'm gonna focus. There we go, 103. 103. <laughs> you guys, this is already exceeding my expectations. It's so cute. It's bright red. A little caboose parked in the woods for us. All right, we've arrived. That's our home for the night. That's our little caboose. <laughs> this is one of those times where it's cooler in person than it was on the pictures. I will 100% agree with that. And right, let's go meet our caboose. <laughs> I'm gonna get up in that caboose. Whoa. Look at this thing, you guys. Oh my God, this is so cool. By the way, if you have never used Airbnb before, you can use our link down in the description below and get some money off of your first stay. That's right. I promise. It's worth it. Airbnb is legit. I don't know how much of a discount it gives you. It seems to be I different feel like for it everybody. Changes. It can be up to like yeah. 50 bucks. But don't hold us to the 50 bucks. But yeah. still, any discount on a cool stay like this, worth it. I'm extra excited for this caboose because they have different ones and they're all themed differently. And you're about to see what ours is themed and why I chose it. You know, the pictures on Airbnb did not do it justice. And that really rarely happens. I'm kind of blown away by it. It's really fun. It's, it's really cool. so <laughs> much bigger inside too. It looked kind of um, small and stuffy online. Yes, I was a little worried so they'd be cramped. charming. Oh, it's great. Look at all this stuff. It's so legit. <laughs> Look at these little seats. Oh my God. Yeah, so 
so it's a real caboose that they converted. I found the way to get up to these awesome little seats. Do I trust it all? I don't know. <laughs> Well, this is really neat. I feel like I'm a little kid in a model train or something. I know, it's so <laughs> this cool. Is so much fun. Where are we headed? Woo woo! All right, let's do a full on tour. So first you walk in through this super old original front door here into their little kitchen area, which actually has a huge sink. They actually have a grill and a huge porch outside that we'll show you. But other than that, cooking is a little limited. If you come into this closet, it says, look inside, refrigerator. There is a refrigerator and a microwave in here. But there's not really a stove or anything like that. So it's only light meals. They do have a whole full bathroom. So welcome to the little toilet area. Toilet and sink with running water, a flushable toilet and everything. Also super charming. They have it, it decorated in the uh, Wild West motif. Yeah, look at this <laughs> little cowboy. It gives you your toilet paper, yeah. huh? It's a little creepy, but It is cool. terrifying, but <laughs> I was gonna say there are worse jobs out there to have, but maybe giving people toilet paper on the toilet is the worst job. <laughs> then you walk through the little area where you can sit up here that Eric already showed off into the main room. So kind of quirky. The shower is here. <laughs> Don't worry if you are, well, that's, that's broken, but we're just gonna let them lean like that. And we'll fix it later. They do have a, a little thing here for privacy. It literally only covers. This I thought bit it was right gonna here. go around. It does <laughs> it. It's right here. So uh, come with people you're, gonna, you're very comfortable with, or you'll see things you can never unsee, like old cowboy in the bathroom there. And then you have a little seating area that's on an old coal burning stove or something like that. Very unique. They have a full size bed in here and they have a heater back here. So it is actually nice and toasty. And as you can see, way more spacious than you might think. You've got all this open room here and over there. There is sadly no Wi-Fi or cable here, but they have a TV in here with a DVD player and some DVDs. The only ones I have seen so far or a river runs through it and Talladega Nights. Can you go wrong with either of these? I don't know. The coolest part is that it just feels uh, very original. You know, they have all this really legit, like the wood floor, the wood paneling on the wall, all these frames around these windows. It just all seems kind of real, a lot more real than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's real hardwood everywhere. And it's just, it just makes it super cozy and authentic feeling. Not like they just did it up to Airbnb it, but like they actually tried to restore it and make it a nice, inviting place to stay. So this is the back door. It just opens up to the back of the caboose. <laughs> there you go. So this is actually sitting on a tiny strip of uh, train tracks. And you just get this forest view back here. Kind of gross right now, but in the summer, probably very nice. Also, you have to be very careful out here because I already slipped and fell right on my ass earlier and it hurt. <laughs> so <laughs> I was just in here and heard this horrible banging and uh, oh, <laughs> And poor guy was just all over the ground. I'm tiptoeing because I don't want to fall again. <laughs> the stuff gets slick, man. <laughs> so this is their little outside area. They have a hot tub over here, which we're debating whether or not we're going to give that a try. It's a little too yucky outside. And then a little grill over here, which might be more trouble than it's worth because it's so yucky outside. <laughs> My favorite part is that they put this thing on actual tracks here. So I think they just put these ties here and put the rails there. So it says that there was an old train route through here and there is still the train depot just a little bit down the road. Apparently you can hear the trains going. I don't think this particular location was ever actually part no. of it. But it's really cool. It I makes mean, it feel much more authentic. So cool, yeah. All right, we have no provisions. Ah! She just pulled the car up as I ran at it. <laughs> Thought she was gonna run me over. You trying to kill me? I was trying to get you out of the puddle. I was being a good wife. What I was saying was, we have no provisions or anything, so uh, we are going to head to the store. <laughs> So yes, we decided to grill after all. Check it out, oh, you guys. Yeah. Got an awesome bed of coals there. We decided to just buy two sausages. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of it, we're gonna microwave, I yeah. think. I feel like we accidentally made a delicious dinner. I'm so excited <laughs> about this. The sausage turned out so good. So we got that sitting right in the middle. <laughs> it's probably too much sausage for one person, but is that possible? 
because you can fit a lot of sauce. Okay, there's too much innuendo in this video. <laughs> <laughs> We've actually been watching Scrubs from the beginning. We rewatched Seinfeld for the 50th time. Yeah. So now we have to have something else to watch. So that's what we're watching. Scrubs. But once we're done with that, let us know if you have any favorite, probably sitcoms. I feel like we really enjoy funny yeah. shows. Let Just us know. chill, relaxing, funny, 20 minute episodes, stuff that you don't have to get too invested in. Yeah. That's what we want. Exactly. Okay, but first, you gotta try your handiwork. Oh, yeah. Let's see how, how well I did. Oh, dude. We got this beautiful burned skin on the outside. Yeah! Is it like Cajun sausage? Is oh, yeah. It? Yeah. Cajun andouille sausage. Look at that. Let's see if you can get a little close up there. Check that out. Oh, yeah. That's perfectly cooked, yeah. baby. It's a little hot. <laughs> Oopsie. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's delicious. I'm super careful every time I walk down that now. It's so narrow and slick. Yeah, I, my arm is all bruised up from when I fell yesterday. Poor guy. <laughs> we ended up just uh, crashing out last night after we <laughs> ate. Yeah, we were so tired. I think we were just up late the night before and then out exploring and we were just so cozy. We went out like lights. Yeah, we didn't end up getting in the hot tub, which was sad. We debated it, but it just it was, was so raining rainy and, and cold. gross all but night. But it should stop raining today, this afternoon. So fingers crossed for some hot tub time tonight. Oh, yeah. Our plan today is to head into the town of Eureka Springs and hopefully see it properly in spite of the weather. Um, it says it might clear up later. I really hope it does because it's just so nasty. That's okay. There are a lot of things that we can do inside or we'll just use umbrellas. It'll be yeah. great. Goodbye adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>